Hey, it's Casper, PPG Casper. I'm um, here to do a tattoo tour at the castle. My first tattoo, um, this guy right here, Bart Simpson, if you don't know. Uh, yeah, I got this tattoo when I was 16, I want to say. I was in the lunchroom at high school, and uh, Daniela Ligori, shout out to you, her mom is coming to take her to get a tattoo that day. And uh, I was already talking shit about how I was going to have all these tattoos when I was older. And she said, you won't come get a tattoo with me. And her mom signed as my legal guardian that day. And we went to New Jersey and I got this Bart Simpson with an upside down cross on it. Very dope. Very cool. The ladies love it. Oh, for sure. I don't even know if I should say it, but I do have an ex's name tattooed on my knuckles. It's more of a nickname. Uh, I never wanted to cross it out because evil also means a lot of other things. So we'll just pretend like it isn't my ex's nickname. So have you ever tattooed yourself? Yes, I have one tattoo done by me and it is the word high with an exclamation point. Did it with a stick and poke in Chicago when I was 18. <laughs> What would you say is your most painful tattoo? For sure, this little guy right here, the, that dragon. I don't like stomach tattoos. I don't like feeling my intestines be rubbed up on by a needle. It's not great. And uh, it was excruciating. Okay, what are your thoughts on traditional tattoos versus contemporary tattoos? I think traditional tattoos can be cool. The people that do them can be a little bit pretentious and uh that kind of gives them a bad energy i think and it kind of is repeating and repetitive but uh i really like like the new age of tattoos because i think people are really starting to get what they want more than rather than what they see or what they like walk into a shop and are shown you know so like just by like natural selection i think uh new age style tattooing is just coming out on top overall Ooh, gotta be tiny ones, tiny tattoos, and uh, stupid words that are in Times New Roman font. Definitely don't think that you know everything when you go in to get tattooed. I like to let the artist like pick the placement and like also just like work with the artist, you know, just like talk to them and think what they think is best too, because they do tattoos and you don't. Well, most recent tattoo, got that bad boy at the castle. Uh, it's got a little bit of uh, plastic on it, but uh, yeah, that one was sick. And then before that was this red guy right here. I haven't got tattooed in quite a while, actually. Probably go with the Calvin pissing on. It says, pray for me, and then he's pissing on me, so... That's probably my favorite one. I like when he pisses on me. When I was getting my chest done, this eagle guy right here, little eagle guy, I fell asleep and I woke up to it completed and everyone in the shop was laughing at me because I did not wake up. I was pretty crunk and uh, it's safe to say I am not crunk right now, but uh, yeah, I was... Uh, sipping on the lean popping the other things you know and i went to bed not smart <laughs>